It's an absolute pleasure. Just uh, Alawalia, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Well, thank you for, for coming along to the Punjabi Awards 2019 course hosted by Brit Asia. Looking fantastic tonight. Firstly, talk to us about your get-up. Oh, thank you very much. This is a designer, a good friend of mine, Surin Kohli. Uh, he's kitted me out for before and he's kitted me out again wonderfully. I'm loving this like asymmetric kurta that he's got me in. And uh, we've got the bota paisley, which, you know, growing up, I always thought uh, this to me was always spoke to me of India and my heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I wore like this paisley, um, this bota designed uh, Ramallah to a, like a non-school uniform day once. Okay. And somebody was like, are you Scottish? And I was like, <laughs> what? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. So that was, uh, that was a bit oh, of a shock. They thought you were wearing a coat. Yeah, they were like, what is, uh, what's going on? So, yeah, that, so, so it's lovely to be able to express express my heritage like in my in my outfit so uh, thank yeah. you very much to Surin yeah well, you look fantastic <laughs> and a lot of people will know you as a viral sensation because <laughs> I've had my friends sending me your videos and I'm thinking how is this guy how does he know more Punjabi I don't actually know any Punjabi which is my own downfall right. but you were you were raised you're in fact Punjabi aren't you yeah yeah so my dad's from Punjab I grew yeah. up in the UK with my, my daddy ji dadaji um, so I, was, I grew up speaking Punjabi, I spent some time in India, I actually forgot English when I was three years old. I went over, but I was just speaking Punjabi for two months and then I came back and then the air hostess asked me if I wanted a colouring book and I was looked at her just blank and my granddad was like, okay, okay, on. Um, and so I was like, oh right. And so then when I started speaking English again, I had a really strong Indian accent. So I was out like shopping with my mum, I was like three in the, in the, in the trolley. And I'm saying like, oh, mummy, I think we need to buy some bananas. And she's like, be quiet, your father's not around. But uh, yeah, so I've been growing up speaking Punjabi, yeah. I mean, I think I used to shock people living down here as a, as a Scottish Asian man, but I would think you'd be able to shock more people than me. <laughs> I was a great thing. I was at the Wagga border once and there was a guy who was like a hawker who was like trying to sell bottles of water. Yeah. And he was like, oh, pani, pani, pani. And I, and, I, and I was just so tired and sort of like done with all the, just the, you know, the noise, the ronak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and I said I just turned around to him and I just said, "Yar, shut them! I don't want water. No one, no one wants water either." And then he like looked at me and was like, "What?" And uh, then he got all his mates around. He's like, "Punjab da gora gaya." So yeah, white Punjabi. That's that's me. <laughs> uh, no, you you are in fact uh, an original. But let's t talk to us about this hashtag you've got going on. Yeah, so hashtag is both not half. Uh, it's kind of the distillation of my feeling about my heritage, how I feel about myself, and mixed identity in the current climate. Um, I feel that. I feel that you know language is so important to how we express ourselves, yeah. and I think you know I've spent I grew up calling myself being like oh yeah I'm half British half Indian half this half that I think the idea of half you know we don't use the term half caste anymore thankfully but the idea of half I think is really um, persists yeah. and so uh, you know I've had people say to me oh you're not Punjabi enough you're not Indian enough you're not this enough or to, to, to well, do I've that. experienced that as well obviously so yeah. it goes it goes both ways. Yeah, I think it's right about mixed experience. So I'm trying to move away from being talking about mixed race or mixed heritage yeah. um, and be like, this is about mixed experience. And so for me, both not half is the distillation of that feeling is that I am both, I have full ownership over both aspects of my heritage. Um, yeah, and I, I want to live that. It's my lived experience and I want to share that. I don't want to feel that, you know, I'm excluded because of, because of you know, I'm half. I'm not half, I'm both. Well, well you're, you're full to me, you're full to me. Uh, <laughs> Can you just teach me one phrase? Like if I, I want to win over the ladies, what would be the winning Punjabi <laughs> phrase? Um, you can say, I can make my own roti. I can do my own cooking. Oh. I, like, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, that would... No, I think a good phrase for tonight, you know, would be, Chak de fatte. Chak de fatte. Yeah, you know? I know that one, but yeah. that's, that's when the uncles have had a too many glassy. I know, well, you know, let's see how we go tonight. Look, just have a fantastic evening. Been a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys, dude. Thank you very much.